We've been divided for a long time. People who say that President Trump is the figure of divisiveness, that he is the reason for our tribalism, just weren't paying attention before he got elected. No, we were far apart before we before he got elected. As I always talk about that study polarization in politics from Pew Research in October of 2017 shows that the far left moved way far left while Obama was president far more than they had over the previous 20 years. The right stayed about the same, and that has accounted for uh, much of the reason, much of, much of the reasons why we just cannot get along. As I've said many times, the disagreements that we have today between the right and the left are not more complex than they used to be necessarily. They are complex on some level, but the reason why we don't get along isn't because of our complex disagreements. It's because our disagreements are far more fundamental than they ever were. I mean, we're talking about basic questions of what it means to be a man, what it means to be a woman. Is it actually a life, a human being inside the womb? Is America not just the greatest country in the world, which I believe it is, but is it even a good country? What is morality? Like these are all the very basic and fundamental questions that the right and the left no longer agree on. One side, not all of them, um, but in, uh, I I don't know if I can say in large part, but a, a lot of people on the left have built a platform of shaming and hating America and wanting to uh, level the playing field as Obama always wanted to do, hence his apology tour. You've got a lot of radicals on the left that really think that America is a bad actor in the world. And then you've got the other side who believes what Americans on both sides of the aisle have believed for hundreds of years, that America isn't perfect, but we are uh, the most compassionate, the most empathetic, and the most welcoming country in the world. And we have done more good and done more to advance the cause of liberty than any other nation in the history of the universe. So we don't agree on that stuff anymore. That is why we are so divided. In addition to the great question that we... Um, always address on this podcast, is God real? Uh, the majority of Republicans believe that he is. That's why they believe that our rights are inherent, that they were endowed to us by a creator, among them being life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Therefore, because they are inherent, they cannot be taken away by the government. They're not given to us by the government, so they can't be taken away. Whereas godlessness, atheism, ag agnosticism belongs mostly on the political left. Of course, there are um, exceptions to that rule on the right and the left, but atheism and uh, the disbelief in any kind of organized religion is much more popular on the left than it is on the right. That also accounts for a, a grave division in this country. It's not that we have political disagreements now. It is cultural. It's social. It's religious. It's spiritual. It is how we view the world. It is fundamentally different. That doesn't mean that we can't get along with people on the other side. It doesn't mean that we can't uh, reach across the aisle. We should. We should, especially as Christians, we should be reaching across the aisle and we should love our neighbor as ourselves, no matter whether uh, they had an R or a D by their name. Uh, we can come together on some things. I'm just explaining the blatant nature of where we are right now. Our worldviews on the right and the left are so fundamentally different.